Hello, and thank you for being here at the High Value Writing Channel. I'm Christopher, your host for this series of videos on quality documentation. Today, I'm going to be talking about purpose statements in QMS documentation and breadcrumbs. Wait, what? Breadcrumbs? Yes. Stick around and I'll explain. Many QMS documents start with a purpose statement. This is the first thing that your readers read when they engage with that document. This is why it's super important that these purpose statements be clear, concise, and helpful. Now, often these purpose statements try to explain what the document is trying to accomplish. Now, here's an example from an actual purchasing controls SOP. To define the procedure for the procurement of materials, products, and services to ensure that the purchased items conform to the specified purchase requirements. This includes supplier evaluation, selection, monitoring, and feedback. Now, while that statement does provide some information to the reader, it doesn't answer the question of why that document exists, the actual purpose for the document. Here's another example from a Control of Nonconforming Materials SOP. The principal objective regarding the control of nonconforming product is to prevent the inadvertent shipment or use of nonconforming product. The review and disposition of product depends on the nature of the application. Now again, this doesn't answer the reason why this document actually exists. And that second sentence, I'm not really sure what that means. Not helpful at all. Here's one more example from a customer complaints SOP. The purpose of this procedure is to identify how the organization documents and responds to customer complaints. So we'll start off the sentence with the purpose of. This is just fluff. This, these are words that don't add any additional useful information for the reader, so we should just cut them out. If you'd like to see a video on how to cut the fluff from your writing, check out this video right here. One more thing I'd like to point out about this particular SOP is it says the purpose of this procedure is to identify how the organization documents, blah, blah, blah. So SOPs don't define how. They define the who, what, when, and where your organization meets the requirement of the particular standard they're trying to comply with. If you'd like a deeper dive into that, here's a video about documentation structure. So I'd now like to take this opportunity to introduce the concept of breadcrumbs that I spoke about earlier. If you've spent any time online shopping, you've come across this before. You may not have noticed it, but take a look at this graphic. That little green box surrounding those words, those are identifying the breadcrumbs. Now the term breadcrumbs came from the fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel, in which the two children laid breadcrumbs along their path so they could remember their way home or find their way home. This technique can be very useful when you're writing purpose statements for quality documentation. Now here is a practical example. This graphic right here is from ISO 13485. It's clause 8.22, and it defines the requirements for complaint handling. Now you can see from the language, Anytime you see a shall, this specifies a requirement for an organization. Now it says the organization shall document procedures for timely complaint handling in accordance with applicable regulatory requirements. Now here is an example of a purpose statement written in a standard operating procedure that can be used to satisfy the requirement of 8.22. Sta this standard operating procedure defines in green letters, not shows how to, but defines the process for documenting and responding to customer complaints in accordance with ISO 13485 clause 8.22. It draws a direct link in the purpose statement to the requirement that calls for it. Now, after you've written your SOP and you've defined the who, what, when, and where, you will likely need to have a work instruction that shows how to do what you've defined in your SOP. And here's an example of a work instruction purpose statement. This work instruction describes how to document and respond to customer complaints in accordance with 
the SOP we defined, in accordance with SOP 123, complaint handling. So you see how the breadcrumbs work. Now let's put it all together. In this graphic, you can see the standard goes to the SOP, which then goes to the work instruction. There's a series of breadcrumbs that goes from standard, SOP, work instruction. Mind blown, right? I know. Now QMS documentation written with purpose statements, including these breadcrumbs, allow for or create a sense of flow through your QMS documentation. If you'd like to get a general, a more general sense of how to create flow in your writing, check out this great video right here from Aaron. Now, if you like this video and you would like to see more, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing so you won't miss our future videos. Thank you. Me again, thanks for watching. We really want to support our community of high value writers. So we have lots of new learning opportunities and discounts for 2024. Let me tell you about them quickly. If you like what you're learning in the videos, a lot of that is described in the High Value Writing book, and here is a coupon for 20% off, code High Value Writer. We also have the book as an electronic format, so wherever you may live, you can use this code to get half off. We also, of course, have the book on Amazon if that's easier for you. To get even deeper and to really practice your skills in a more interactive way, we have e-courses now. I'm in all of them talking to you about how to make revisions to make sure that your writing is meeting the purposes that you want. So check it out. Again, 20% off with High Value Writer. I hope to see you in class. If you take a class, you get the chance to leave questions. I'll answer you in 24 hours. And you get the chance to talk with other participants who have taken it as well in the discussion board. So check out these opportunities. Let me know if you have a question and I hope to see you soon, either here or in one of these classes.